How do you know that vestibular labyrinthitis or vestibular neuritis might be the cause of your dizziness symptoms and how would you get a diagnosis? Well, this video is gonna tell you. My name is Amy, I'm a vestibular physical therapist, which means I treat dizziness, balance problems, and vertigo for a living. There is no definitive test for a doctor to be able to tell whether you have vestibular labyrinthitis or neuritis or not. Furthermore, it's pretty much impossible to be able to tell if the thing that is inflamed is the labyrinths of the semicircular canals, which would be vestibular labyrinthitis, or the neuron itself that goes to the inner ear, which would be vestibular neuritis. Instead of running tests, doctors simply have to go by clinical signs and symptoms in order to diagnose you. This is extremely common for many vestibular disorders, as many vestibular disorders do not have any biomarkers for which we can test. Symptoms which may make your doctor lean towards a vestibular neuritis or labyrinthitis diagnosis are a sudden onset of severe spinning vertigo, which leaves a person bedridden or vomiting or unable to walk unassisted, which is constant and unrelenting regardless of position. And the severe vertigo lasts for one to three days and is constant during that time. After the initial day or days of vertigo wears off, the person will be a little nauseous, off balance, sensitive to moving surfaces, sensitive to head movement, or sensitive to moving visuals for around six to 12 months. And this isn't a definite, but it is a good sign or indication that you may have had vestibular labyrinthitis or neuritis if you had a recent flu, sinus, or respiratory infection. If the doctor thinks you have vestibular neuritis or labyrinthitis and you are in the initial phase where you are having constant nausea, vomiting, and severe vertigo, they will simply treat the symptoms with things like Zofran and Meclizine. They may also give you things to speed along healing, such as steroids, antivirals, or antibiotic medications. And after the initial severe phase of vertigo wears off, they may send you for additional testing with an audiologist, such as VNG or caloric testing, which will tell them the extent of the damage from the infection. Clinicians who play a part in diagnosing vestibular neuritis or vestibular labyrinthitis include neurologists, ENTs, neurootologists, and audiologists. And clinicians who treat this condition include all of the aforementioned clinicians as well as vestibular physical therapists. To find a qualified clinician who is well-versed in dizziness near you, go to vestibular.org, click find a clinician, and type in your zip code.